So Darren, there is obviously going to be a very interesting test court case coming up in regards to the constitutional guarantee and your concerns. However, from what you've said to me, you will be able to rely on or depend on case law because these matters have already been proven in court. Plus you have the comments from, I believe it was 38 High Court judges, basically confirming what you're saying. Correct. So, yeah, over the last 60 years, there's been uh, at least half a dozen uh, cases uh, and they've been uh, presided over by 38 High Court judges. And this is the interpretation and the outcomes that have uh, occurred from these cases. And yes, they will be relied upon. Uh, these particular uh, interpretations provide uh, the guarantee that you can hang your head on. Um, it's quite interesting, I remember when um, Scott Morrison was speaking in regards to uh, uh, vaccination, for example, uh, he was saying that it was uh, uh, something that all Australians had to do. And then within a couple of days of uh, people sending things to his office in respect of 23A, uh, he came out and said that we will not be forcing any Australians because it cannot be compulsory and he's he's basically backing up the constitutional guarantee. Now if people are to take these particular matters to court they can rely on these particular outcomes from the High Court. The High Court precedents that can be relied upon um, it quite regularly occurs that people will uh, reference many, many cases because it's already settled case law. Um, it's a, um, a status quo that's continued on from particular circumstances. Although having said that, sometimes the judges can take broader interpretations and things can change, but uh, predominantly uh, once a foundation has been set, it uh, it's usually uh, continues through. Okay, so we may be able to revisit the topic when the matter goes back into court. I believe you're taking this to the, is it the High Court? The, the actual venue you're choosing. This is, what well, I suppose what I'm saying is, this matter is not going to be held in one of the lower courts, a local court, local magistrate's court. Uh, no, um, but there does exist a, a, uh, a mechanism so as to springboard a constitutional matter from a lower court or an inferior court. Um, the Ju Judiciary Act of the Commonwealth allows for you to springboard a matter straight up into the High Court if it's on a question of interpretation or a question of law in respect of the Constitution, which this will be. Um, it's not myself going to the High Court. There's I'm involved with a group of people who are... Uh, aiding a certain group of people who uh, are compelled to take uh, certain uh, legal circumstances they find themselves currently in to the High Court. Uh, the state are trying to encourage them to either pay fines or uh, to uh, have the matter thrown out. There's a lot of uh, misguidance going on. The Supreme Courts are trying to um, stop people escalating things into uh, the Commonwealth realm because they lose control of the uh, of the situation. But um, yeah, hopefully we should uh, see some outcomes probably within the next six months, I would say. So definitely by the end of the year 2021, maybe well before, there should be some determination on the matter. I would say so, yes. Well, I'll look forward to uh, revisiting the topic with you when the time is right. Definitely. I look forward to it.